On tonight's episode, we talk about Gran Turismo. And other pop culture news from the week. We just got back from an IMAX showing of Gran Turismo, the latest video game adaptation, but that's also a true story? Anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a sports underdog, uh, true story, mm-hmm. uh, family, what else? Mm-hmm. Cars, yeah. technology, mm-hmm. video games. And, and they touch a little bit on the creator of the game. But this is a very, very... Uh, this Japanese guy that wants to create this car race simulator. And mm-hmm. he wants to, to be precise all the details. Mm-hmm. And, and The course, the cars, the sound, yeah, everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if, you, if you're a gamer or if you're familiar with Gran Turismo, you know, every new game is stupendously realistic you you watch a game and if someone is doesn't know that you're playing a game they might think it's a, an actual race going on because they really push the technology they push the hardware to create mm-hmm. like these amazing beautiful games yeah so this film is actually based on a true story um of a the, the premise they laid out pretty clearly in the trailer. They didn't show. They didn't show Bloom's character, or David Harbour's character, right at the end. That's true. At the end, at the end, they show they show uh, how the real characters look mm-hmm. like. They didn't show these, which makes me think uh, if they tweak the, the story a little bit. Sure, maybe know. if they're amalgamations. Maybe not. Maybe which they're not the common. Nissan. The Nissan uh, uh, executive, mm. but uh, his trainer was like. You know, Le Mans, yeah. which is French for the man. Uh, it's not. It's not. No. What is it? Mans is it's a place. I think a place for the man. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> what does it mean? I well, I'm pretty sure it's just the name of a place, but there's yeah, an article before it, so I'm trying to remember what Mon would mean. But it's not. It's like really close to some other words, so it's probably just like a really old name okay i remember forgetting something so, anyway so is, uh, is is the place so the place is is le, le mans so is the mans there you go <laughs> yeah that that is accurate like that i can endorse el nino yes spanish, spanish for, for the, the nino, nino. <laughs> classic there we go Live. learned so much from Chris classic television Marley. anyways uh, um but yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So in this one, based on a true story, when um, basically Nissan and PlayStation got together and um, recruited Grant, like the top, like elite Gran Turismo players across the world to come to GT Academy, right? To come learn to be actual race car drivers. And the person who won signed on for Team nissan and they sponsored him through like all these crazy like races across the world including le mans which is the, like the 24-hour race which was featured in ford versus ferrari yes. right yeah ford yeah we went uh, uh-huh. uh they wanted to beat ferrari at that one yeah yeah so which is that that's another fantastic movie um anyway so we just follow this kid on his journey from being kind of a like working class kid putting everything he's got into this video game his father like loves him but doesn't really believe that this is going to come to anything and then like we follow his journey you know all the way through um these great races so yeah based on the true story a lot of the classic tropes of the underdog sports movie but it's so well written and so well put together that we spend the whole time sitting there in the theater thinking like oh yeah well it's a true story like we know we know he's gonna win but will he? Like, I don't know. Like, it was tense. It was emotional. It was really well made. So I'm oh, a big yeah. fan of this movie. It's like we know it's a real story, and we know mm-hmm. you know when you have a, a, a hero's journey, you, mm-hmm. you're rooting for the hero, and you know the hero's gonna win. But right. one is well done, and this one was you know the suspense of disbelief. You you there with him? Mm-hmm. He has doubt. He has fears. Yeah. Uh, hopes. Uh, uh, but he's not certain. He's mm-hmm. not arrogant to think he's going to win. Uh, yeah. He hopes and dreams and fights for it. Mm-hmm. And you're there he with really him. He really fights for it. You, you believe. It's like when he almost doesn't 
ah, 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 he goes like, you know, he jump out of the seat. And when he does, oh, yeah. you, you, you like your heart celebrates with him. Yeah. And knowing that's a true story makes it even even better because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the underdogs you have out there that make, you know, dreams come true, inspire people to, you know, fight for the dreams and, and yeah. keep, keep uh, uh, fighting. And of course, there's a there's a bad guys. There's villains. Yeah, we've got some great villains. I was just I was just checking some some information, and it's funny uh, because watching the movie, there's this bad guy from I want to say he's German. Is he German? I can't remember. Uh, the pilot, the bad guy. Uh, oh yeah. He's basically Drago. He's tall, blonde. Oh, yeah. He looks it's like totally. Drago. They have that team. Like they have all the money, all the tech, oh, all the car pedigree. Is literally made of gold. Literally gold. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. He's right up there. You you think of Drago? I thought first of um, uh, Mighty Ducks two, the team from Iceland, and they're all like yeah. like slick and fantastic oh. and soulless, but like really good at what they do. Yeah. Since you mentioned that, there was one. So it's that one kind of like that iconic that, sports hero. One villain. thing that I liked it's like there's always the the trope, the type character of the the sl s sleepy, sleeky, the mm -hmm. the the, the uh, suit, mm. right? They always do something, you know, kind of unethical. Yeah. And the, the character of Orlando Bloom, some, sometimes it gets to that, but it, they dismiss that like right away because there's good people uh, 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 yeah. and stop him from making bad decisions which is mm -hmm. a trope in movies even even when you have good people some good people got betrayal mm -hmm. and that happens in this case he was mostly uh, uh, a decent dude uh, throughout yeah. the, the entire movie but it's funny that uh, I was reading some some notes about the movie and mm. one of the writers said that one of the he was very very clear about some inspirations and it was uh, rocky and it's very rocky yeah the kid comes from from nothing not nothing but he comes nothing, from the but bottom. like very working class yeah and, and he he gets to to high places that you know yeah you know, who could dream that someone that's playing a video game gonna actually become uh, a racer mm -hmm. uh, uh, of this international uh federation that moves billions anyways yeah, but the the other inspiration was Top Gun, and and the movie uh, is 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 very, it's just cars racing, but the shots, the cinematography, mm. the sound editing and and, and sound oh my gosh, mixing the sound mix is so intense and so good. Which I was thinking uh, after watching the whole the whole idea from from the suit was to to sell cars to use the game to mm. to. Uh, excite people about driving because mm -hmm. with the apps people are like I don't need a car I can, I can take an app I can uh, yeah you uh, can uber yeah so Lyft, so but his goal was to excite people about driving and and see uh, you know anyone can be can be mm -hmm. a race uh, a race car uh, pilot driver mm -hmm. uh, so his goal was to open these these windows using <coughs> gamers or, or car simulator enthusiasts and show that uh you know excite people about driving excite people about the game most about driving he worked for nissan uh and i think uh, uh watching the watching the movie even though the movie uh we can tell almost right away that by the box office uh by by the our IMAX it's yeah. not going to do well because this this the 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 room was was almost empty yeah same thing that happened to to Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle and you're going to talk more about it mm -hmm. but i could totally see exciting people about playing the game so it's a full oh, yeah. cir full, full circle it's a very interesting totally i've never had any interest in those games but then watching this movie i'm like you know what yeah it would be so fun to sit in my living room and just like try out some of these courses right. like would i be terrible absolutely yeah. no question oh that's one but of it the could reasons. be really fun that's one of the reasons i, I play a lot of games all mm -hmm. types of games even race games but mm -hmm. i never dare to play game grand Turismo because it's is as as they mentioned in the in the movie, it, it's a simulator. It simulates not only driving a car, which I do, uh, but simulates you driving a fast speeding car, 
uh, on a, on a race court, you know, the many race courts in the world, mm -hmm. you know, with with professionals, if you know, uh, yeah. AI generated pilots. Mm -hmm. So it's like drivers. <laughs> Dri is drivers? Drivers. Okay. In Portuguese, they say pilots. Oh. Yeah. That sounds way cooler. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Yeah, and I think maybe maybe French doesn't say pilot too. I don't know. For racers. I'm not sure because despite growing up in the south, car racing has never been something that grabbed my attention. So. Oh yeah, no, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking about uh, NASCAR. I'm thinking about yeah. internationally. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like I've I've just never really been terribly interested, so. NASCAR, NASCAR driver, NASCAR pilot. Anyways, I yeah, guess in English he's driver. Anyways, uh, 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 so so uh, yeah, I, I quite never there because I play for fun. I was like, <laughs> if I would get to that, I would get so invested. I would probably buy or build a rig with the, the, whole the setup, wheels and just like the pedals. Yeah, I'm not gonna tempt myself on getting into that. Uh, but I, I I always thought that the game was it was impeccable. It was really cool. I know people that play. I know people mm -hmm. that enjoy. And it was really cool to see that you know, from gamers who are mm. uh, who, who who tend to be uh, profession. There, there is professional gamers. Yep, esports uh, is a uh -huh. thing. But but from from casual gamers, they could become you know really uh, uh, cross over to a different universe, the universe of reality of mm. driving those cars. Uh, the, the 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 cast is really good. Uh, yeah. David Harbour, mm. uh, Orlando Bloom, the kid I forgot to check his name, but he's really yeah. good too. We have uh, uh, Dijomon, Dijomon? Jimon Hansu. Jimon Hansu. I will never know if I'm saying his name right, but this is a great role for him. Gary or Jerry? I, I also don't know her name. Halliwell, uh, the Spice Girl. The yes, Ginger Spice. Ginger Spice. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the Japanese guy is very familiar. I can't remember his name too. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, and of course Drago. I also didn't check. It. <laughs> but very very fun uh, uh, underdog story. Very mm -hmm. different. Uh, uh, Neil Blomkamp, a South African uh, filmmaker, known for for District Thirteen, mm -hmm. from Chappie, from from Elys Elysium, and some other sci-fi movies. This one is very mm -hmm. real. But but. He did such a great job. It's yeah, beautiful. Very emotional. Mm -hmm. Very very intense. Uh, 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 and funny. There's some very funny moments. You know, from from yes. like playing a song. Suddenly they play a song. Yes. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and that was it. Was I thought it was well timed because like they're not taking themselves too serious. It, it helped break it up because. I don't know. But that song thing was actually true, right? In the, 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 the yes. end, they, they, they yeah, mentioned that. Yeah, that was that was like an Which accurate is, little yeah, little yes. detail. But it, but like he he brought those things in at, at good moments to like remind. It it was just really well crafted. Yeah, really well crafted. And the real um, Jan, I forgot his last name, was actually he actually worked on the movie as his own stunt driver. Yeah, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is cool. I was I was looking and hoping that he would pop uh yeah. some character shows oh maybe that's him but no mm -hmm. anyways uh but no no really fun and, and if you're familiar with with race with fia with uh with the games mm -hmm. you're gonna see some of the the famous uh, circuits out there yeah uh, even though they shot mm. most or maybe all of them in hunger or hang in the hungry I was wondering about yeah. that because, well, because as you watch, you, when you get to like the technical part of the credits, like camera people and oh, grips okay. and all that, all of a sudden they're all very Slavic names. Yeah. Like, wait, where did they make this? Yeah, yeah, they, anyway, they that's they usually shot. a clue to your. It's a big one. Location. It's a, it's definitely a big circuit. You know, I know because when I was a yeah. kid, I used to watch a lot of uh, F one. Oh, cool. There was Brazilians in F one. The the uh, the. Uh, until Michael Schumacher, the, the German that became champion, what, five times? Uh, the Brazilian was the one that was uh, champion most times. Oh, I didn't know He that. was one four times. But he died on a circuit in Italy. Uh, and, and, and the movie has deals with accidents too. And mm -hmm. it's always something uh, very tragic, very traumatic. You know, you see, uh, especially if you fall, you see the, your hero dying on a race. It's, oh, it's, yeah. It's very, very horrible. Uh, very sad. Uh, but yeah, they shot in Hungary, but they 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 made they made a terrific job to to portray uh, what Silverstone, 
uh, uh, there was a, the Gemma one. I can't remember the Gemma one name. I, I don't. For Barcelona. Don't. So they mm -hmm. go to, to, and they tell a very beautiful Dubai. story. Uh, Dubai. Oh, Dubai. It's like, it looks like the beginning of Dubai looks, the, the beginning shots of it looks like mm -hmm. a different planet. It's crazy. It looks like Coruscant. More, throughout this movie, like more than one pod racing joke went like, uh -huh. <laughs> went through my head. I maybe bothered yeah. our neighbors by whispering things to him, but anyway. Yeah. But it's it's fun. We recommend. Mm -hmm. uh, you should go see it. Sony Sony did a terrific job. Neil Blomkamp yeah. uh, again. He 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 always does terrific movies. This one is very mm -hmm. different. But it's a uh, uh, is even though it's dealing about it's funny because it's it's about video game. But it's it's very real. It's a it's a sports underdog story that you know could be any sport. Uh, this one involves a lot more money than some sports. And, and, and the odds are, you know, uh, but but the kid got a chance and he took it and it, it, it's fun. Yeah, you should go see it uh, again. I I don't have big hopes for it. Timing. I think if they would like wait for the the later fall, beginning of winter. Yeah, it would because I guess it's like Sony wanted to to you know do a summer another summer movie. But this one, it, it, it feels more like it, it's it's life. is 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 more real. is more, uh, you know, is a, yeah. a, it's, it's a lot about feelings and about fighting, f feeling wise, uh, mm -hmm. than than you know some of the movies they go, and, and yeah, I, f I honestly could f think they could delay to later, and who knows, maybe even get some nominations. They definitely might get some technical. Uh, oh yeah, like yeah. sound. Is there was it sound mixing? Sound mixing, sound, sound editing. editing, editing. Yeah, all the sound ones. It, oh man, yeah. it was so fun. And, yeah, and even the, the the end credits is like really beautiful, going to details mm. and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gran Turismo, wholesome, uplifting, inspiring, so fun to watch. Well worth it in the IMAX if you can. It's in theaters now. Go check it out. Yes. Yeah, you should. It's it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, this week the two episode premiere of Ahsoka dropped on Disney Plus. Yeah, and it was it was it was fun. It was it was mm -hmm. good. They dropped some big narrative changes to the Star Wars universe, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, I don't know. At least at least it, it, it's the type of change that it doesn't disrespect. I guess if if it if it does not a lot it doesn't disrespect the 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 story as we know mm. especially you know what they did in the sequels disrespecting characters destroying unmaking the characters in this one uh, was dealing with thousands of years a race that is a thousands of years in in the universe and I guess sure I it, I don't think it it it, it breaks a lot of was was established and and mm -hmm. it deals with going to far ends of the galaxy different galaxies yeah which, which they just did on the, the video game jedi fallen not fallen that's Order, right jedi uh, survivor. survivor uh so i guess it, uh, I, would, I would like to think that they are working together and a heck of a coincidence if they're not yeah, but I guess I guess there's that that thing you want to do something, uh, Star Wars something creative, mm. and I guess to be creative you're gonna have to do, to go away from what we have, especially because you I already know. have a established past, established future. You cannot yeah. change much because I mean you can. You have to be really mm -hmm. creative. And also, you have to be free, which at Disney, you're not. You're not. So you have to get really good at, like, filling in gaps. Yeah. Which is so, what the best shows have done. Yeah. So, uh, in that case, you only found a, a creative way to bring something new uh, mm -hmm. without hitting walls from the past and walls from the future. Yeah. But in the past, he did. Ahsoka is, a, is an example of a character that he created out of nothing. And... 
I remember watching the movie because the first episode of the, the show, right. it's a movie. Uh, it's not the first episode, but it's a movie at the theaters. I was like, wow, I thought I was done going to to the movies watching Star Wars films. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> so much happened after that. Oh, but, uh, difficult to see the future is. <laughs> right. But uh, in a circle, oh, this character is annoying. Oh, and, I think everybody and, hated her. Yeah, and it was funny. First. It was funny because uh, uh, besides the fact that she grows on you, it was like only reaction was like uh, even talking to friends about it. it was like she's gonna die. She's she's not mentioned on episode three. Mm. She's not mentioned uh, post episode three. She's like yeah. Hannah Keen, uh, uh apprentice. Yeah, she's gonna die. So. And guess who? Guess who didn't die? <laughs> not only did she not die, she became like beloved and adored by Star Wars fans across the world. Like, she's she's incredible. I love I love her character, and I think yeah. Rosario Dawson's doing a great job. I feel like these first two episodes were promising. I would say you should probably watch Rebels, or at least like read some recaps, um, because this show very much builds off oh, of. Yeah. Rebels. There's there's a, a lot, little bit of Mandalorian people, season one, but mostly people Rebels. People might not get about uh, uh, this guy they looking for. Yeah. This other guy that disappeared with this guy uh -huh. they looking for. And a lot of backstory that's really important, but it's just sort of barely alluded to. Yeah, but I have I have feelings. I finished not long ago. I finished outside, uh, not outside, outbound flight by uh, mm. Timothy Zahn, and it has it has the kind of feeling. You know, they're trying to go to far ends of the galaxy. Mm. And it involves Tron, too. So that's... Uh, it has Jedi, at least some. Because, you know, most of them died at the Order 66. Yeah. Or did they? <laughs> but the show is good. It's intense right away. They, yeah. they bring some new interesting characters. Uh, 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 there's uh, two dark Jedi or former Jedi or Sith. They don't call themselves Siths, but they don't call themselves Jedi. But we do see someone that looks like a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Inquisitorians. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, but with we know, a twirly lightsaber. Uh, but we know Rebels just killed all of them at the end of season two. So, mm -hmm. uh, who was that guy? Maybe you could find a lightsaber right around. And, uh, but to, uh, the, uh, there's no details on the movies on the show mm. but on the books it's very clear it's like to to wield a lightsaber you have to be that's true force sensitive because yeah it's it's not they did show that a bit in, in mandalorian yeah i mean that was the dark saber but yeah they showed us how hard that is to do but yeah would that mask yeah. come come out a one clone? can only hope star killer Jeez. Oh my gosh! That would break. Do you know that would be? I've heard of Star Killer. Oh, okay. Maybe takes out the mask and Sam Witt were there. Oh my gosh! Jeez, that would break the internet. I just thought of that because he he has a similar mask on well, a version. There's a mm. DLC for the game mm -hmm. that he goes full on to the dark side and he was a mask. Jeez. Oh, the possibilities. The forums start yes. <laughs> speculations. Start the rumors. <laughs> But we'll uh, see. Uh, Dizzy, Dizzy also disappoints, so mm -hmm. let's not get our hopes high. But if it does... I can't help it, yeah. though. Because <laughs> another thing that's cool about this, the, our, and our Filoni, villains... And Filoni is restoring uh, uh, things from, from the expanded universe. Dawn. Yes. Disney tried to kill it dead, but he keeps sneaking in these elements wherever yeah. he can. And not even sneaking in. Maybe just... the Katana fleet. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we already saw Pallion. So, yeah. That's he's, right. He's slowly, he's, he's yeah. right there. Yeah, Disney's like, no. And he goes, man, man. And he is set to direct a movie that he said is going to be Good. called Heir to the Empire. And it's probably going to be the adaptation of the movie, the book. So, it's a good uh, book. I guess they're going to have to, I wonder if they're going to have or they will choose to, or will they will actually tweak in ways uh, like instead of using Luke Lion and Han, they're going to use Mando, Ahsoka, and whoever else they can find that mm. is not super old. Right. And all right, disgraced by Disney. Anyways, hmm. but yeah, this show is fun. It's good. Uh, hopes it for fun. it. It's uh, it's it's on Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Just a comment on aesthetic. The the villain, and and some of the, some of the aesthetics we're seeing like uh, there's a lot of like very ancient stuff. There are things that look like we see things that look like like runes, like very Celtic or Viking type 
type runes and our villain looks like he's he reminds me of like a dark knight that you'd read about in like an arthurian legend he's got this big bulky armor like black armor under a black cloak and he's got he he's straight straight out of like north arthur or something like yeah or sir going in the green knight so i'm very intrigued um yeah. by where this could go yeah this this is very promising she starts this 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 her journey uh on uh tomb on a temple yeah and some some people cogitating if so the, it could be a zephyr uh which she actually mentioned it was it was a uh daughters of Vatomir. Mm -hmm. but but zephyr from the game again it was like people say hey oh. maybe i don't know uh, the show yeah. the show is fun it started well two episodes it, mm -hmm. it comes out every tuesday and Disney gonna set the time differently than before. There used to be uh, it's Tuesday, so midnight, the first minute of that day. This time they're gonna do differently. They're gonna mm -hmm. do uh, I think it's six six p.m. Eastern time. Uh, anyways, right. this evening of yeah. the day, not the early morning, so you you don't have to wake, stay awake. Yeah. Yeah. And are there eight episodes? I don't know. I can't remember. I was checking something on So there's MDB. six more, that's it. I want to say eight. They're packing a lot each episode, so. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. All right. All right, so check that out. Follow along. Comment what you think. Um, okay, Blue Beetle. We mentioned before the theater was pretty empty when we went to see it. And things have not gotten better in the meantime. Yeah, the movie only got... Besides the fact the movie is fun, it's good, it's not bad. Yeah, it was a good movie. I would love to see uh, it again. Of course, of course, uh, there's people hyping way more than... The, it, it's not bad. But but there's some people saying there's the best movie. But I guess it's a... Uh, well. it, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a media trope there's like mm. the best move the best superhero movie of the i just saw a stupid meme someone saying that the guardians of the galaxy 3 was better than uh homecoming it was like ah uh, no go on no homecoming uh what's the last one called no way them. home no way home oh no way home yeah yeah it's not better than it's either a, of those a, yeah but definitely yeah. not better than no way home yeah it was like come on no 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 way home like took your heart and just like beat it up and stomped on it and threw it across the room and then like gave it back to you and you were happy about it like yeah it was and a heck of an emotional did, and movie and they did things that everybody knew uh, uh what happened that uh mm. he would lose someone he didn't lose a band so he lost a may yeah uh he would do he would lose uh, uh a version of mj because yeah uh because uh, what's it called? One more day. There's a saga in the comic books. He made a pact, a pact oh. with uh, Mephisto, and he, oh. his life is erased, and, and then MJ, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So it was not a big surprise, but even though it was so well done, it, it worked it really was. well. So better yeah. than Gardens, uh, anyways. But Blue Beetle, yeah. uh, who's, who's who's not better than uh, No Way Home as well, but it's a good movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's in the performing. He's actually doing mm -hmm. worse than. The Flash, doing worse than uh, Shazam, Black Adam, everything that came before. It did uh, $25 million uh, on the first weekend. That's rough. Uh, people, like, on the beginning of the weekend, they were, like, celebrating. Hey, we beat Barbie. It's like, yeah, Barbie has been first for, like, four weeks. Yeah, that's not... And it beat Barbie, like, barely. Yeah. Because even on the fifth week, Barbie did almost what you did on the first that's not good so yeah so 25 million uh they yeah. might still do more but because you know even though this is like peter safer and james gunn's baby is already part of the dcu as the apparently is the first movie of the dcu but so was the flash uh, yeah and when flash feels like no 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 you have nothing to do with it this one feels no 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 you have nothing to do with yeah. this but but yeah but yeah if you have a chance to see Blue Beetle it's still out it's it's still fun yeah, sure it is still it. fun WB is blaming its um, poor box office numbers partly on Hurricane or sorry Tropical Storm Hillary yeah <sighs> this is a, such a Hillary type of lie oh yeah yeah no that's not a fact because uh, uh, there's like there's uh, I I want to say. 75 more percent more of country where the movie came yeah. out. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
besides yeah. you know and i'm giving planet, and i'm but... giving them 25 percent in california it, it, it could be less <laughs> i think it's less yeah but anyways yeah uh, yeah but some people just don't have great taste in films and films don't always do as well as they should and and that's that's just the nature of the that's business and it true. sucks a little bit I, I mean to go watch a movie called blue beetle is kind of like if you don't know mm-hmm. if you're not following or even if you're following that's the that's the thing they're mm. going against the follow the followers because the followers want Zack Snyder, wants Justice League, want yeah. the Snyderverse, and then they decided to erase that, make fun of that. It's like, let's move on. We can do better. Guess what? You're not doing better. But it's, it's not. And superhero fatigue is a real thing. Um, yeah, I don't. There's know, been I, I, so I, I, much that's gotten pushed I, I out, and it's I don't not agree. Good I don't agree. Uh, uh, comic books are to prove that there's they, they still sell. Uh, it's, they they do still sell the problem but like, is the quality it's not it's not it's not the, sure. the, the quantity it's the how how they make you know the director of Captain Marvel is already oh superhero fatigue is a real thing it's like uh, your movie I mean, didn't came out yet you're already giving up but like okay so if you want your movie to be a blockbuster you need everybody to come and see it not just your diehards you need everyone to come and see it and like. Not everyone's going to get excited about Blue Beetle when there's already been, like, The Flash and how many umpteen million Marvel movies and series that have already come out this year and weren't that great. So by the time Blue Beetle comes along, it might be really good. I thought it was good. But, like, like the general public maybe just doesn't have a lot of interest left. Yeah. I think that maybe maybe these mediocre releases have burned through some goodwill and interest and... Yeah, but again, the mediocre it is, 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 is the quality, you know. If they were yeah. all awesome, uh, sure. people would come sure. for Blue Beetle, but they've been like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyways. All of that was supposed to be a segue into Logan Paul walking out of Oppenheimer. Oh, I yeah. S- that that was, a, that was like, that, that popped in my timeline. Yeah. I was like, why is this news? So Logan Paul is an idiot. So what's the news? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. he does something very unlikable. Yeah, yeah. I'll All give right. you no news. He always does that kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. I like Logan to think Paul. that he does annoying things on purpose, like to be controversial and generate, you know, clicks yeah. and all that. But I said it was boring. It was about people talking and an explosion. Idiot. I'm not sure Moving what he expected. On. Like I what what anyway. All right, it's time for our weekly recap of what's going on with the strikes. So they've been the the the, the strikers, uh, both unions, mm-hmm. and the studios went back to talk. And they've been talking. Yeah. They're putting it on uh, 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 proposals, which they didn't reach an agreement mm-hmm. to the point that uh, it was said that uh, what did they wrote there? Neither is neither nothing nor nearly enough. So uh, right. it actually it actually sounds good because they said it's not nothing, yeah, but it's not enough because that's what they're gonna get. Yeah, at, at realistic, some point they've got a compromise. Yeah, being realistic is that what they get? They're never gonna get what is it what they want. Yes, uh, and the studios will never get what they want. So it's gonna be somewhere in the middle. So it's, everybody should be deeply dissatisfied. Yeah. So it's it's. Uh, is, is getting close, but it still is not getting close. So to the point that I don't want to skip, that, but there's some That's okay. crazy uh, uh, delays, cancellations. Yeah. Let's talk about that after. Let's keep oh, okay. talking about the strike. Well, um, Severance, um, they're producing the fifth season of Severance. They said they had to lay off 12% of their workforce. Yeah. So, uh, uh, again, because of the strike. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, it, despite all this, sag after is encouraging its members to go to film festivals to promote films that are being made with these, like, interim agreements where, like, specific productions have agreed to meet, like, certain conditions in order to keep their movies going. Yeah. So, so there is work still happening. Um, Apparently, but, uh, 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 a good, uh, uh, a way for, for actors uh, to make money for uh, doing these types of uh, strike is uh, prostitution. I'm kidding. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, not... So not a hard left there. No, not all of them. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of them. Who knows, oh. these people. But a good way, uh, a way for them to, to make money there is like rising during these times is mm. Cameo. 
there's a lot of people oh, yeah. uh, you know uh, you know talking to people getting mm -hmm. some some cash it's you know it's a way to if you live of that and you're out of a job it's it's a way yeah. but but uh, 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 another consequences mm -hmm. of the 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 strike Amazon canceled a league of their own yep even though they had renewed the show the show was renewed for a second season that's right because the strike they said no never mind we canceled mm -hmm. they also did that to the peripheral yeah that also was renewed mm -hmm. and was canceled um co-creator of a league of their own abby jacobson says it's bs to claim that it was the strike that got it to be canceled oh uh, but i don't know it's like it's if it was ways. renewed why they will, it was, if they if yeah. they renew a show, they believe in that show for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. If they suddenly cancel, it's because uh, they 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 stop believing it. No, I think it's something else. In the case of the strike, mm -hmm. they have to reorganize, lay off, yeah. cancel, and, and so maybe you know, it just wasn't. The the worth. the creator will try to shop somewhere else, but mm -hmm. at this point, it's uh, virtually impossible to get uh, the show going anywhere else. Yeah, all things considered. In the meantime, the author of Winning Time, an HBO series, is worried that they won't get a season three. Also because mm -hmm. of the strike. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. The, 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 the biggest sad news uh, of the week concerning uh, the strike and changes, mm. cancellations. Is it the CNN 24-7 oh, streaming no, service? Because no, 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 that's no. a massive bummer. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it, oh, okay. it just came to, to, the, to the... What's the expression? It came through the... Ether? The woodwork, the, wire. the ether, to the lines. It was like the, uh, uh, dig, 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 oh yeah, through the wire. To the wire. Over the wire. Yeah, it came over the wire. Yeah, was that uh, Sony that is doing terrific? I mean, doing great, great jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, just cancel Dune Two. I, I guess no, it's not Sony. They didn't cancel it. Well, they delayed. They until delayed next it. Year. Yeah. Which the show, the movie was pr uh, uh, previously scheduled to be released in November. Mm -hmm. This November is like getting so close. End of the year, Dune. Like, yeah, some some good stuff coming. It's like, no. Now it was moved to March. Yeah. Also, the show. Mm -hmm. Also, Godzilla versus Kong. Is it yeah. versus Kong? Yeah, Godzilla yeah. versus Kong. Yeah. That's got, that got the moved, show, to it moved to April. Yeah. So... So yeah, that oh, one they already moved. Uh, no, Sony moved. Th this one is legendary. Sony moved mm -hmm. uh, across beyond, beyond, right? Beyond is that the name of the second one? Beyond the Spider Verse, across the Spider Verse. I think across the Spider Verse. No, that was the first one. That's, that Seriously? was the second one. Okay, into so the, next the one Spider Verse, beyond. across the Spider Verse, and beyond the Spider Verse. I don't know, man. And Sony moved that, mm -hmm. uh, but they didn't move Venom or Craven. It's like what the heck? Kind of idiot decision. I don't know. Anyways, so so Dune Two was mm -hmm. like I guess it's more time for you to read the book if you didn't. My thoughts exactly. This gives you plenty of time. It is a thick book. It's heavy. It's dense, but it is phenomenal. Dare I say life changing? Maybe. It's really good, and it's it's worth. It is very much worth your time. Yeah. Um, to read the book, I will be rereading it and trying to finish the series. Um, at least that first trilogy. All right. Um, it is the end of an era. Um, well, there's uh, CNN. Hmm? Did you talk about CNN? Oh, I just mentioned it in passing. Oh, so CNN is going to launch a 24-7 news streaming service. Yeah, you heard right. This is not old news. Did anyone ask for that? <laughs> But this no? time, this time they will not charge you because they know that, what only ten people will sign up uh, yeah, for CNN it was Plus, pretty bad. CNN Live, whatever. Yeah. This time it will be part of uh, HBO Max, or I mean Max it will be part of the package. It will mm -hmm. be inside Max. So if you want, if you are uh, tired of watching uh, fun comedies uh, or fun dramas that yeah. tells you lies, you can see lies telling told by CNN because that's what they do. Yeah. So that's great. Okay, now it's the end of an era over at Nintendo. Um, the voice actor Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario, is stepping down from his legendary role. Yeah, and yeah, get, get good, good for him. He did a terrific job. Everybody grew up with the mm -hmm. voice of Mario. I mean, I grew up with, with Mario with our voice. <laughs> and, then, uh, and yeah. then the rest of the time with Mario's voice. 
uh, classy guy. He was he was here on the gamer game game con a couple of years ago. That's right. Um, but I guess it's a it's a good it's a good moment uh, considering that Mario has a new voice. It's Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it's it's a good time to retire. Yeah. And he might be Mario's father on the next movies on the sequels. Oh, that'd we'll be see. nice. That'd be cool. Um, another era is ending in September. Netflix is shutting down DVD.com, which is where you could still rent DVDs. That's right. That was still a thing. Um, but they said that they won't charge their users for unreturned discs. Yeah. If there's, there's, so, there's a date, there's a timeline, you can check online. Mm -hmm. But if you have some DVDs, you don't have to return it. You can keep it. They even have some sort of sweepstake that you, you sign yep. up for it and you can uh, win a selection of DVDs. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it only makes sense, right? They're going to close what they're going to do. Yeah, they the got DVDs. a whole bunch of stuff just, to liquidate. Just give away. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, some upcoming projects. Frasier Reboot is coming in the fall to Paramount Plus. Yeah. Uh, October 12 is mm -hmm. the premiere date. And I saw some images and I was like asking, I was like, Where, where's the dog? Where's, That's right. Where, where's Frasier's father? I mean, of course, Frasier's father passed there. away. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that would be impossible. But for me, the biggest absence is Dave Hyde Hy Pierce. Uh, Niles, mm. his brother, yeah. is not coming to the show. At oh, least wow. not at first. He might pop as a surprise. Mm. Uh, and Jane Levy, who was uh, Daphne. Okay. Uh, so it was like, oh, okay. So you missed two big ones, but yeah. uh, you have. I guess they could do. They could do to to Niles and Daphne. They could become the new. Uh, what was what was what was Niles' wife? Maris. Maris. Yes. Yeah, she never shows up. Oft mentioned, but never seen. <laughs> yes. Which yeah. really allowed them to like make so many great jokes about her. Yes. Like, yeah, she, she sounded like almost inhuman. She looks inhuman. like a gigantic square with seventeen legs and I, mustache. Yeah. And, <laughs> oh no, that's that's a uh, uh, Owl's mother. Oh, okay. From, from Home, Home Improvement. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Kelsey Grammer is back, so it's gonna be definitely good so mm -hmm. was uh, there's an adult uh i can't remember the name of his kid but gaylord yeah. was gaylord was that something dumb like that okay no, I my apologies least, to anybody named gaylord i think was a, a, a little less stupid uh, you know, well, okay yeah we could maybe maybe his middle name was stupid i think his, maybe his first name is is not that bad uh it's not that great though of course, uh, 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 Oz, not Oz, Ross, 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 uh, coming That's right. back. Yeah. Uh, the Bulldog is coming back, and we'll see. We're gonna watch it. I, I, I like Frasier. I watched. Yeah, it's a fun the show. The entire show, and mm -hmm. before that, because Frasier was a kind of a, a spinoff. Spin yeah. Of uh, Cheers, mm -hmm. Frasier was a regular at the the, the bar mm -hmm. where everybody knows your name. Yeah. So they went from the bar to toss salads and scrambled eggs. Yes. And, yeah. Anyways. All right. Um, okay. Some Disney Plus series are going to be coming to Blu-ray and 4K later this year. Yeah. Disney's starting to make money. So now they're going to mm -hmm. sell what they're already selling <laughs> on streaming. Yeah. So Mandalorian, WandaVision, and Loki are coming. I could maybe be convinced to buy the Mandalorian on like nice 4K discs if they came in a beautiful package. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. There were rumors that John Krasinski might be Batman. But James Gunn said, no way, Jose. Well, yeah. First, don't trust James Gunn. Yeah. Second, I don't know if Krasinski would, would get involved with that. Because he's giving you up. Uh, 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 you, you become, especially on the, on the way things are going at DC, is mm -hmm. like you're, you're... First of all, I don't know if they would pay Krasinski. And i think pretty sure Krasinski is smart enough to ask. It's like you want me, want me to be Batman? Yeah. You're gonna have to pay. No, 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 crap like you did in Marvel signing six movie That's contracts. Right. No, no, no. We sign mm -hmm. for one and we renew and negotiate. Uh, yeah. And it's gonna be Batman and Robin, you know, ba a Batman father and a kid. So mm. I guess he could be a good dynamic. I still hope he's gonna be on Fantastic Four. That'd be nice. But well. We'll see. We will. All right, let's talk about some upcoming, other upcoming projects that we are very, very excited about. First, we saw the trailer for Rebel Moon on Netflix. 
Yeah. So cool. It looks really good. It's mm-hmm. going to be a two-part movie directed mm-hmm. by Zack Snyder and visually stunning like everything oh, yeah. does. And Big, sweeping, epic. A testament of sci-fi Disney, Disney stupidity and, and flaws because they passed on him. He was supposed to direct a Star Wars movie mm-hmm. or movies. Yeah. And he said, nah, thanks. So he goes, okay, I'll do it myself. And he transformed the, the script into mm-hmm. an original movie called Rebel Moon. See? Rebel. Yeah. And they even have like a... It's right there. And the logo has like a little star, Death Star reference. Yeah. Anyways, it, oh. it, it looks good. It does look really uh, cool. Very good cast. Mm-hmm. Anthony Hopkins narrates the, yeah. the trailer. He's a good narrator. You have the... the uh, what's the book? I can't remember. The girl... Uh, anyways, we um, have that girl. Oh, that girl. Yeah. Okay. She was in Star Trek uh, Beyond. It's, it's called Beyond what? Beyond, right? Yeah, just Beyond. Yeah. And she was full of makeup, so she's yeah. like irrecognizable. Uh, but she's there all the time. Mm-hmm. And she was on, on The Mummy, the Tom Cruise uh, Mummy. That's right. And and she wasn't like around the set of Justice League a lot. So there was a lot of rumors that mm. she would be... The daughter, the daughter of Dark Side. Uh, for hmm. it's like it's it's deep into the books. They never made the mm-hmm. movies, but because she was there, there was this whole rumor. Oh, she was meeting like that it might be her. with the cast having dinner with the cast all the time. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyways, so it's fun. Comes in December, mm-hmm. and December might be because it's Netflix. I I highly doubt that they will cancel this, and they're gonna stick to it. Yeah. Because between streaming and having a theater release, it still works either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of, and then the second part, so the first part I think is called, was it Child of Fire? Child on Fire? Mm. Something like that. And yeah. the second part is Scargiver. And that comes in April? April. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, fun little tidbit we learned about Zack Snyder this week. He's really into Fortnite. Kind yeah. of on accident. He started playing with his kid, but he's kid saying, yeah, I'm out. And he stayed. Yeah. Yeah, um, I know you're dying to know. Uh, no build versus build. He plays no build. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's the best the way to, to build, play. Yeah. I don't understand. Maybe that's like, I feel like it's an age thing, though. I feel like younger people are like, yes, I gotta build the things. Yeah, I don't know. It makes, but, I think for me, it makes kind of unrealistic. It's almost cheating. I, yeah, it drives me nuts. It, yeah, it feels very it's cute like, now. Let's go, bro! And then you, you run to fight, and then the guy starts building walls. Like, oh, yeah. Man, come on. Yeah. yeah. Face me like a man. <laughs> I know you're a six year old in Japan, but face me like a man. Anyway, um, Zack Snyder says he wants to make a Gears of War movie. Yeah, I mean, he can make whatever no movie he that. wants. I mean, Disney might. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And James Gunn, too. But, I mean, yeah. He's good at adapting things, so let's let him keep doing that. Okay, we saw some other trailers today. For a teaser for Good Burger 2. Mm-hmm. The guys are back. Mm-hmm. They're old men now. I mean, they're, yeah. they're old men. Uh, yeah, but, they are. but it's funny and silly, and, you know, Keenan and Cal. <laughs> What's yep. up? I love Keenan and Cal, so it looks fun. Uh, yeah, it does look fun. Um, another very fun one is Expendables 4. Four, yeah. yeah. Now rated R. Yeah. Yeah. And that's basically what the trailer is about. It's like, look how rated R we made it. And I'm not even exaggerating. Like, that's literally the point of the trailer. Yeah. No, this is like you ask the fans, ask. It's like, mm-hmm. why don't you make this all rated R? So mm-hmm. they finally going to deliver. Gonna make oh yeah. R. Look at the uh, swear words. And, the violence. Yeah. And at the, 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 the very More end, violence. The very end, there's like blood and sex. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's rated R in every end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, All the rated R reasons. You know, Sly and his mm-hmm. band of Expendables are coming, and yeah, time to rewatch the trilogy and get ready. It's September, yep. so it's really, really soon. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Better get cracking. What is it they say when they're not dead until they die? Or yeah. Something profound like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, and then last but not least, we'll finish off with a bit of real science news. India has landed a spacecraft. Oh, India! On the moon, they yes. They went to the moon. As I recall, it's called the Sh- Chandrasekhar. Uh, I, I What's Chandrasekhar? That's a very. I heard that word before. It's I know. Like and I'm, name that, name so that. I, I'm worried that I may have like said the wrong thing. Anyway, 
They landed it near the South Pole, which is like a pretty unexplored part of the moon. They're, they've is gotten, it dark? Is it the dark side? Uh, I don't think it's on the dark side. Honestly, I, I truly don't know. Um, but they've gotten closer to the South Pole than anybody else has. They were able to do a soft landing, which is very cool. Um, What's a soft landing? I think... Well, never mind. Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> I, I think, How is that cool I if think you don't it's know like it the is. spacecraft itself was able to land it and, and will maybe be able to. I don't know. I don't know. They were able to land it, okay? They got there so and everything is great. It, it, we don't know why. And they're hoping but it's really cool. that maybe if there's going to be ice <laughs> on the moon, this could be the place for it. So, congratulations to India. They join an elite group yeah. of only four nations who've made it to the moon. Yeah. It's so, what? US, USSR? China, China and India. And India, yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Well, good good for India. Uh, yeah. They definitely have a lot of people. And yep. they, they and, and by having a lot of people, I mean they also have a lot of very intelligent people. And mm. that, that shows, you know, this big accomplishment for them. Uh, besides every other industry they have, they have a big movie industry. Uh, we actually have some Fantastic movies that we really want to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Including R. He needs to see Kuchkuchota.